Boom, we are alive, ladies and gentlemen. So, as you could probably tell, I didn't end up going to Bali. Now, I want to talk about this because over my lifetime, I started to make some friends. Hey, Tia's not a loser. I have friends, I swear to God. And those friends are often significantly more intelligent than me in the areas that they are interested in. And because of that, I've learned to just basically trust them in areas where I might have questions. So the board, the board of Arcane Bear, the Bear Council, said, uh, Hey, Tio, we don't think you should go to Bali right now. There's a bunch of stuff we need to be working on. So I'm still at home in Costa Rica. But because I love traveling and I'm kind of waiting for my residency to go through so I can get my nice identification in Costa Rica, I decided to rent a home in the city. So today I'm driving into San Jose, the capital of Costa Rica, and I rented a bomb shelter home. It's like a home that's made out of a bomb shelter. So... That's going to be fun. So I'm going to bring you guys along for that journey and we're going to talk about the importance of being able to change your mind um, and kind of trusting your intuition and, and going with the flow because, hey, here we go. Okay, so we got like a three, three hour drive until we get to the city. Uh, three hours away, approximately. Okay, so I landed in the house, but it's late and it's bedtime, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna just go to sleep and I'll show you the rest of this place tomorrow. Okay, so it's morning time again. It's great to be here. I'm gonna show you guys around the bomb shelter, but first and foremost, I wanted to talk about this idea of changing your mind, because that's basically what today's topic is about, and maybe a little bit of the arcane bear moving forward, and where we've been, where we've come from, where we're going, and uh, what we're doing today. That's, that's it, right? Ladies and gentlemen, geez, these vlogs are difficult, so thank you for bearing with me. If you've made it this far in the content, give us a thumbs up to Tiho and the arcane bear and the rest of the people that help build all the fun stuff we do. Now. Let's rewind. About a month ago, I decided, hey, I want to go to Bali. I'm getting bored at my beautiful home in the jungle. <laughs> I don't know. Everybody would probably love to have a home in the jungle, Costa Rica, whatever, Tio, trying to find somewhere else. So we are having one of our board meetings. Now, I cannot suggest this enough. If you don't, if you've never done this, if you've never had like a mastermind group, you should do it. I don't know how you do it for you, but every Wednesday for me, there's a group of people that get together. We help create what we're going to be working on the next week. Now, it's been hugely beneficial. It's actually one of my favorite parts of the week. I always get, I always really look forward to Wednesday morning now where I'm like, oh my God, I can't wait to brainstorm, see what we can come up with and, 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 and work together. And the mastermind group kind of holds everyone accountable. And when I decided I wanted to go to Bali and then the mastermind group told me I probably shouldn't go, well, I could have gone, I could have decided to do whatever I wanted, but generally if you're getting better in life and you're starting to excel, your friends become the people that you work with. Oh. And if you ignore their advice, it's, well, it's kind of rude to them. It's also kind of rude to you. Like, I'm only good at so many things. Like, there's a few things I've been able to be, like, somewhat good at over the last few years. <laughs> Count on one hand, like, playing music, taking psychedelic plant medicines in the middle of the jungle and coming up with really interesting ideas. A and I, I execute a little bit. You can see, you've, you've seen, here's Fever. Fever was a lot of fun, right? There was a nice 15X in less than 10 days. Join the private group if you like 15Xs. But anyways... 
The ability to change your mind is such a powerful substance, right? Now, a lot of the times what people get used to is not changing their mind. Academically coming to a conclusion, digging in their heels and trying to withstand any force that pushes against them that says otherwise. I think one of the greatest enjoyments out of the idea of the flat earth phenomenon was that it allowed me for a minute to bend my mind and go, hey, did I get something wrong? Is there something else interesting here I might learn by going through this study? And in fact, there, there was. The realization that you don't need to stay glued to ideals, to preferences, to business decisions, to partners. Any, any of these things are fundamentally mutable. And one of the most important parts about that is le kind of leveling out the communication so that if you do hit those kind of rocky water points, you can navigate them soundly. You know, a lot of people get embarrassed, like, oh, I, you know, if I change my mind, if I don't do this, my parents are going to like me for that. You know, I, I dropped out of school at the end of grade 10 and hitchhiked through Central America. Like, my parents didn't like anything I did for the first bunch of years of my life. I'm taking psychedelic mushrooms. What, 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 what did it look like I was going to maybe be doing in the future? I, sure, I, I didn't really have an idea either, but that's the fun part. The discovery mode is the fun part. If you find something and you're like, oh, hey, this is a mouse. Now it's forever a, a mouse. So now it's a Bluetooth wireless mouse. But we get caught up in in like the naming of, of certain things and, and ideals. So I think it's such a healthy habit to be able to shift and pivot your mindset and try new things. So we're at a, we're at a, a bomb shelter in, in San Jose. Uh, so this is, this is the new bear cave for a bit. I'm gonna do some yoga. I'll even take you along for that ride too because I know a bunch of you love yoga and meditation as much as I do. Yeah, that's another thing. Ladies and gentlemen, mastermind groups and meditation in your mornings. This is, this is huge. This is life changing. You wanna know how to make your life like significantly more successful? Meditate or yoga, stretch. Just sit with your eyes closed, shut up and listen to the world around you for like f at least 15 minutes, an hour is best, although I know how <sighs> troublesome that can feel when you're younger. You're like, oh my God, I got shit to do. Like I gotta go to here, do that, I gotta this, I gotta drink my coffee and I'm off this raisin. But it's massively helped me. So just a kind of an episode of a vlog to get back into the habit and the feeling of doing it because it's not easy. It's like I got to think of 18 different things to put the storyline together before you build the story so that you can edit it together to something cohesive. It's actually pretty difficult work. So uh, thanks. Ooh. Oh, and there's something really exciting. Stick around to the end of the video. I want to show you something that I'm hyper excited about. All done with my morning yoga. So we got the, the yoga deck. There's the the bomb shelter out there. It's been opened up so you get like a like a what is it called? A sunlight view. We got the bike and the truck parked on the yoga balcony. And then what you do is you follow down these stairs and then into the old bomb shelter. So this is an old bomb shelter that's been changed into a house. Look at this massive steel door. Super safe. Always a good time for the Binance socks and the sandals. Got beautiful art pieces. And the house is this really, really kind of nice featured place. Oh, here we go. Oh yeah, there we go. As you can see, we've got our kitchen. Nice big kitchen. All the fun stuff for, for eating and uh, drinking my my suitcase full of gear so we can can make videos now the next part of the room here is awesome look look how awesome this is behind me so the workstation pretty great beautiful art pieces everywhere along the way this cool little terrarium or, or estuary i don't know what it's called See, they've, they've ripped off the top of what used to be the old bomb shelter, and now you've got all these plants inside. So here's like the main office working space. And then we go down the hall, and the, the plants separate the space to where the bedroom is. So the bedroom is all on its kind of like own little, own little setup. 
same nice kind of view of, of, of all, all the plants and everything. And then, just because why not, we're doing a house, house review anyways, it's the bomb shelter bathroom. You got a dope blue light that shines out over there. Um, I really like this place. I've rented it for the next month. It's gonna be the office space where we work and build. Um, really cool. Uh, I'm, I like finding kind of really unique, eclectic places to hang out in. Oh yes, and don't let me forget, the most exciting part about this is kind of bring you guys along the journey. You know, we're, we do a lot in the back, we do a lot, we do a lot in the background that we don't always get to share. And I think some of you would find it interesting. And so if you, for instance, like, this is a bunch of paperwork. We're opening up corporations and bank accounts in Dubai, in Costa Rica. We're looking at a few other countries as well that are just favorable for some of the crazy stuff that we like to do. Like, uh, here, here's a fun one. All these notarized signatures and documents from the lawyers. That's right, Tio knows how to do paperwork. Probably start to include a little bit more, but, but this, this is what I'm super excited to show you. This is actually the video that we're editing right now that we're in. But I wanna show you Murph's life. So check this out. So this is Murph's life. You can see he's got like 100,000 subscribers here. Go and follow him. What is this? Oh, this is my old account. Yeah, see, go click follow. Boom, make sure you follow Murph's life. Check out his videos. Leave some comments and some love. He goes around, uh, he helps families. He'll find a family that's a, like just, you know, good people. Um, and through the contributions that they raise, they'll build them a house and they'll give them a business. It's this really cool direct to charity giving. And for anyone who's been following me for a long time, you know that I love this stuff. Aaron ha has been able to accomplish what I've only dreamed was possible. So I'm really looking forward to uh, potentially building this something with him where we end up in El Salvador. Hmm? Wink, 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 nudge. Nudge, nudge, Mr. Strike President Jack Maulers and the rest of the Bitcoin community. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think of these episodes because I have no idea how this is even going to turn out. But I'm trying my best and I'm going to continue to do it. Try my best. <laughs> Steve with the Arcane Bear, thank you all for joining us today. Gratuitous drone shots of the local area that I now live in in my fun little uh, bomb shelter. <laughs> <laughs>